So one common question that I get all the time or that I see is what are the differences between the official version of iOS and the you know beta or public beta of an iOS version? Now, this is a very common thing that a lot of people kind of get into. And the very first thing I would recommend you kind of thinking about is your iPhone one of the newer ones? Is it the older ones? And or are you rocking an iPhone that is basically a you know separate iPhone than what you're using? So do you have like a side device and whatnot? Because if the answer of that is because if the answer of that is yes, I do have only one iPhone and it is my only iPhone that I use on an everyday basis, you shouldn't even be thinking about installing the beta version of software. Because a beta version of software is essentially because the beta version of software is essentially the version of software that basically has like all the cool features, all the new updates, all the new things like that. But it is going to be a very buggy software. It is something that developers are just testing out and some things may work, some things may not work. That's why it's kind of a hard process of even installing a beta in the first place. So the beta software of any version of software, not just iOS, but on Android, on you know One UI, on iPadOS, macOS, so many different versions of software, Windows, all the beta versions bring are new features to people who want to test it, who want to report bugs, usually for developers. That way they can test the bugs and that way they can like test the bugs and test all the issues like that before it officially comes out on the public you know software for everyone out there. So personally, that is so from what I've seen, that is basically a you know person who's a developer or you have a separate phone, those are the people who should even consider installing a beta. From everyone else though, I think installing a beta is not the best move. Now the official version of software, so official iOS versions are typically the versions of software that have been vetted by Apple, that have been vetted by many engineers, and that have been probably in a beta format for many, many weeks and or even months before they actually come out. So a official version of iOS, like iOS 16.2, for example, is going to be a more stable version of software than let's say iOS you know, 16.2 beta because more people have been able to test the official version and a majority of the time, the official versions are way more stable and just better versions of software overall than their beta counterparts. Now, I can understand that when iOS 17 or iOS 18 comes out, a lot of people will probably end up just upgrading to that version of software anyway because, you know, there's new features, new, you know, all those other things. But you do have to keep in mind that when you install a beta version of that software, most of the time you will also have to install the beta version of the other softwares surrounding that device, including watchOS, iPadOS, and macOS in order for your device to communicate properly with those other devices. So that is another thing to keep in mind as well. It's not really just as smooth as, oh, the newer version of software has more features. There's also more bugs. There's also more compatibility issues. And majority of the time, you're going to be in a better situation if you just hold off and installing that next version of software, just wait it out and just keep rocking the official version of software. So to kind of sum it up, beta software or beta from iOS are pretty much just the versions of software that have cool features that are newer and probably not on the official version yet, but are still in a buggy state. And the official version is the tried and true method and the tried and true version of software that the beta is that hopefully isn't as buggy as that beta counterpart. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.